teriyaki saute gave flavor to the monkfish. She made him taste the smelly cheese. The flavor he couldn't handle, worse than mushrooms grown off cow shit. A strange, unwelcome, unrecognizable taste, awakening his tongue like a premonition of cardiac arrest. He immediately washed it away with wine. The wine tastes like gasoline, he said. Wretched cheese. It had wrecked his taste buds. The phone rang and startled them. They didn't answer. Helen had tried to block the crazy girl from calling, but she called from other locations. She called like clockwork every night at dinner time, for she didn't know where Helen lived. Cass was not ready to let everything die. She still haunted Will through messages, told him he needed help, that alcoholism was the least of his problems. He needed to find God and really get help. God. He thought he could use the kind of help she had. The pills upon pills her good doctor prescribed her. The good doctor. The one who had no friends. No time to listen to his wife or kids. Or ex-wives. The good doctor. The one with the Lakeview office in the high rise. Who knew how to encapsulate a young girl's heart.